just add a belt. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new here. So today I wanted to go over how you can elevate your outfit. These tips and tricks that I've learned, I've been implementing in my outfits in the last, I would say, week or two, and it's really made a huge change, and I wanted to share this with you guys. Some of these tips are pretty basic, and I feel like everybody knows, but then there are some tips that I've recently learned that I wish I knew a long time ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys do enjoy it and wanna see more. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So things to help elevate your outfit can range from a bunch of different things. So accessories is a big one. And when I think accessories, I think more than just jewelry, I think hats, you know, hair accessories like bows, scarves. I feel like scarves are really underrated. I used to be obsessed with scarves when I was younger. And sometimes an accessory can be as simple as just adding a belt. And it doesn't even have to be a brand name belt or a belt with any fancy pattern. Sometimes just adding something so simple can do something so drastic to an outfit. This leads into the first tip that I want to talk about and that is specifically belts. I did not realize the power that belts had until I got my Louis belt, which if you haven't seen that video, I did an unboxing of the Louis belt, first impressions, and I absolutely love it. Having that and really realizing the step up my outfits take when I add that belt is amazing. It's literally just a belt and it's useful. It literally holds your pants up. Now, I don't think you need to have necessarily a designer belt for this to work for everybody because I use regular belts, not even just that belt, and it'll help step up my outfits. And this first outfit that I'm gonna show you guys, I'm wearing an all black outfit. Black top, black jeans, black pants, and something to really help with the separation of the outfit and seeing where the top and the bottom is, I added a black fake crocodile belt. It was just a very faint print. It wasn't anything bold, but just adding that little bit of detailing with that little gold buckle really helped step up that outfit and really added separation between the top and the bottom, which is something sometimes I'll need. Even when you're wearing a cropped top and high-waisted bottom, sometimes I think a belt is really nice there as well. I like to pair my Louis belt with a lot of those. I think I've posted a few on my Instagram. You should check that out. But another way to add belts that I never really thought to do until probably a week ago is to add belts to blazers. I did not realize the extent a belt around your waist with an oversized blazer, or even if it's just a regular size blazer, just adds so much more shape and definition and it's another way to wear a blazer. I literally have been underestimating belts for far too long, so my first tip is to literally just use a belt. Another tip that I've learned is to have the correct proportions. When styling an outfit, if I have baggy mom jeans or if I were to wear a pair of balloon jeans, I'm not gonna pair it with a really baggy top. Unless I'm going for a complete laid back sweatpants look, sure. But when it comes to jeans, I think it is ideal to keep proportion in mind. So if you got baggy pants, have a tighter top. Also to keep in mind, if you have high-waisted pants to either tuck in the shirt, the tight shirt that you have to allow some shape on the top half or to wear a cropped top. It seems like a really silly thing to do, but when I actually noticed this and started looking up a lot of the outfits that I have on Pinterest, which I have linked up in my channel bar, by the way, if you wanna follow me on there, a lot of the outfits I like and a lot of the outfits that I try to recreate all have these proportions. Something that I also think is not really something that's not appreciated enough, but I feel like we don't need to wards an all black outfit or an all cream outfit or an all neutrals outfit. I feel like we steer away because we feel like we need to add more color, which I think look really good in outfits, but sometimes to have that really sleek put together look, sometimes just sticking within the same tones is all you need. Another thing that I really actually want to try practicing, I haven't actually gone out and found anything that I like, but mixing vintage with new. So maybe go for a vintage looking purse over a new purse with your more modern day outfit. Or maybe go for that vintage looking jewelry. It adds more texture, it adds more characteristic to an outfit. Even if it's just a vintage bag that you're using. Like mixing vintage with new just looks so 
good. And I can't wait to just go and find some really cute vintage pieces. I haven't found any yet, but this is definitely gonna be something that I have on very soon. I think another thing that we should try doing is wearing unique pieces. Wearing a statement piece, whether it's a bold printed coat, like a leopard print coat, or whether it's wearing a leopard print pants or plaid patterned pants, or wearing a shoulder padded shirt instead of just a regular t-shirt. I feel like we need to lean towards more statement pieces in an outfit, something that makes you stand out just a little bit more and kind of gives your outfit a unique look. You want your outfit to stand out compared to the person beside you's outfit. So for example, if someone is also wearing an all black outfit and you're wearing an all black outfit, what makes your outfit more unique? What makes your outfit stand out? Maybe it's that you have the padded shoulders. Maybe it's that on top of that all black outfit, you actually have crocodile printed boots. Or maybe you have a leopard print jacket. You have something bold that stands out and makes your outfit a little more unique. This is something I've really only started doing this year is being more bold with my outfits and I'm absolutely loving it. This might be something that not everybody agrees with. This is something that I've kind of always grown up believing when you look good, you feel good. One of my favorite lines from my mom is, you should always look your best because you never know who you're gonna meet in the grocery store and I have to live by that for so long. And it's true, when you look good, you feel good. And I feel like that ties into an outfit as well. Having your nails done, or if you're wearing open toed shoes, having your toes done, you know, even if you don't wanna do a full face of makeup, just a little bit of mascara or a little concealer, or putting your hair up in a cute hairstyle if you're having a bad hair day, just having a little more self care and taking care of things that a lot of us forget about. Like to me, Having my nails done is crucial. I don't feel put together without my nails done. Even if my outfit is really nice and really well put together and I have my hair up, I have my makeup on, if I don't have nails, if I'm wearing open toe shoes and my toes aren't painted, I feel gross. I do not feel good in that outfit. I feel like I'm ruining that outfit. I feel like missing that one detail just kind of ruins it. And I'm not saying go out and pay to have your nails done. But you can literally get nail polish at the dollar store. You know what I mean? You could add even just a clear coat to add that shine to your nails. Just make sure that you're well kept. So this next tip is also something that I always try to keep on top of. Maybe not so much with sneakers, but with my heels, I like to keep on top of this, is having shoes. Like having a good range of different types of shoes having unique type of shoes, having updated shoes, ha like having your shoe game on point. Make sure you have a pair of pumps. Make sure you have, you know, sneakers that aren't sneakers that you go to the gym in. You know, having a pair of thigh high boots, having a pair of ankle boots, like obviously all these tips cost money. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, go drop all the money and like get all these things that you may not use. Obviously, if you're watching this video, I feel like you probably genuinely do want to level up your outfit. So you're probably already knowing that you need to spend a little money on where you might be slacking, or maybe you already have these things and you're just looking for tips. But either way, if you're watching this video, you probably know maybe one of these tips are going to involve spending some money. So I'm not trying to tell you that you have to go out and spend money, but if you do want to level up your outfit, it is going to cost money. That is something that I have recently learned. And my fashion sense has definitely started to grow a lot more when I started to invest in more things. And obviously it's not really the most affordable habit. So having your shoe game on point, you know, make sure you have a good variety or make sure you're up with different styles. Another thing that I've personally believed for a long time and I still believe is that you can tell a lot by a person by their feet. You can notice certain characteristics in a person literally just based off the shoe that they're wearing. Sometimes we can forget how important shoes are and I know I've been guilty of that, especially when it comes to sneakers. I have the weakest sneaker game ever. I literally own two pairs of sneakers, that's it. I know I need more because there's a bunch of outfits that I want to play in with them and I can't wear white sneakers all the time. This might also be like a really silly tip that I feel like a lot of other people probably already do, but maybe if you're anything like me who wasn't like this, I never used to play in my outfits. 
And I'm a big planner person. I literally carry my agenda with me everywhere. I plan how I clean my apartment. I plan how I go do this. I plan how I go do that. But I never cared about my outfits or planning my outfits. And I find if you know you have an event to go to, you know, tomorrow morning, plan your outfit the night before. Try everything on, you know, experiment. Try throwing on a belt. Excuse me, I'm croaking. Try adding these shoes instead of that shoe because sometimes what you think will look good, you put it on, you have a crunch of time to get ready and to leave and you realize, I hate this, I hate this ensemble. I don't want to wear any of this. And you take it all off and you're trying to change the outfit, you're trying to swap things out and then you may not look as presentable as you would have wanted to. Another thing that goes into with planning outfits is if you have a very specific item that you want to wear, let's say you know for sure you want to wear those mom jeans or you know for sure that you want to wear these white booties and your outfit around that item then. Let's say you know you want to wear those white pointy toe booties. It's like, okay, let's start there. Let's start from the ground up. Those types of booties, what types of jeans do they look good in? And go literally through the cycle of the pants. Find the bottoms that look best with the boots and then, you know, like I said, just work your way up or if you have a jacket that you really want to wear. Okay, what tones, what colors, or what, what pattern is this jacket? Is it something really crazy and bold? Is it something that your outfit might have to be played down a little bit? Or is it a really basic jacket and you want to add a little more life to your outfit? How can you style around this statement piece or this item that you really want to wear? Another thing you could do is what I like to do is go on Pinterest and look up ideas. You could literally type in white booty outfits and you can steal inspiration from these other pictures that you're seeing. And you might find something that you have in your closet that you haven't used in years that would go great with that outfit. Now, I'm not a fashion expert. I'm not a fashion guru. I didn't go to school for any of that. I'm still learning my own style as I go. I'm still playing with new patterns and new fabrics. So I don't want anybody to take this as I'm telling you what you should be wearing or trying to tell you that I have all the information and I have all this style advice. I don't. These are just my personal tips that I've learned and started to actually implement in my outfits and I've noticed a huge step up in my fashion. I just simply wanted to share these tricks that I had learned and I've implemented now with you guys. So if you're also in the same boat and maybe you're trying to reinvent yourself, maybe you're trying to build a new closet, maybe you're trying to try something new or you simply just wanted to hear a couple of tips. I hope this video delivered that and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below if you have any tips that you would have for me because I love researching and I love finding new things. So if you have some really great tips, I would love to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow my Instagram as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.